Okay, so this question involves um, thinking about data types, and we've got keywords here, qualitative, and so we've got to remind ourselves what types of data there are. So there are qualitative, qualitative, qualitative. spell, so qualitative data types, there are quantitative data types, there are discrete data types, and continuous data types. So there are all these types of data, and let's make this one a bit better. So qualitative. So the qualitative data types are descriptive. So they describe something. It's got a quality. Quantitative is numerical. So basically, any data type that's not numerical is describing something. So, for example, hair colour is descriptive. Yellow, red, blue. The feel of a desk, whether it's rough, smooth, is qualitative. But if I give numbers to things, so I count the number of people in a room, or I count the amount of money, then I've got a number there, then it's quantitative. It's got a numerical value to it. So descriptive, quality type things, so things like hair colour, as I say, the feel of something, those are all descriptive, they're quality, they have qualities, quantitative, numerical. Discrete are uh, things you count, have only specific values, so shoe size, four, four and a half, five, only certain values can be taken whole numbers, so counting, I might have one person, two persons. Continuous data is measurable and basically it's data types that you would use a ruler, a weighing scale, something that you measure. Continuous means goes on forever, you can take any value. So height, for example, is a classic continuous variable. 1.2 meters, well, it could be 1.201, could be 1.2015. It could be, and it could take any value. So things that you measure tend to uh, be classed as continuous data types, time, and so forth. So let's have a look at the question. So it says, write down one of the data types which is qualitative. She's talking about the amount of money a student spend in a canteen. Um, so it could be um, the type of sandwich that they buy could be the drink flavour. So we could have type of sandwich, we could have drink flavour. It's about what they spend money on. So she's collecting, so she might be wanting to find out um, do people buy sandwiches most, do they buy drinks most, um, do they buy hot food. So those are examples of the type of things that will be qualitative. So the type of sandwich, so whether it's a cheese sandwich, egg sandwich, all those kind of things. Write down one data type that she'll collect that is continuous. Well, she's collecting data about money that they spend, so uh, about money that they spend. So continuous could be the amount of money, any value. Um, it then says design a suitable question that uh, she could ask to collect the information. Well, the key thing about um, questionnaires and questions like these is there must be a time frame. So we'd be saying something like, um, how much money on average do you spend a week in the canteen? So we've got the time frame in, it's per week, and how much money? Um, but then we need response boxes because we obviously need a quick way of collecting the data. And the thing about response boxes is that they mustn't overlap in terms of the uh, possible answers. People must be able to tick one box only. And they must be able to tick one box. So we've got to make sure the answers are exhaustive so that everybody can tick at least one box. Um, so we'll have zero because some people might go to the canteen to be with their friends but they don't actually spend money. So and then we'll have. 1p to 3 pounds, and then we'll have 3 pounds and a penny up to 
seven pounds, and then we'll have over seven pounds. So that allows everybody to take one box over, uh, one box only. They either spend nothing, or between a penny and three pounds, between three pounds and a penny and seven pounds, or they spend over seven pounds. And that's all you need uh, for that answer. Uh, it's just so that it, somebody could tick one box only. So data types and questionnaire design. Just remember qualitative is descriptive data, things you can't uh, put a number to. Quantitative, things you give a numbers to. Discrete, things that have um, only certain values available, so things that you count, um, so people, shoe sizes. Continuous is things that you measure. Things that uh, include things like height, weight, mass, all those kind of things.